live and we have a special birthday episode uh for Stu. um the i don't know the the brains behind or one half of the brains behind the camp um pretty famous for uh, one of his promos where he torched one of our shirts or assisted in torching one of our shirts um but yeah so uh, the way we always do these birthday episodes is usually i do five matches the birthday person chose the matches but this go around we're going to do it a little different because he requested it to be a little different um he wants a tournament and this tournament whoever wins this tournament gets to the little k right there where it says king of the ring whoever wins this tournament gets a shot tonight for brawler beckett's nwc world heavyweight championship so i needed to be known because last time there was some severe confusion i did not put him up to this i did not suggest this he decided to put the title on the line just like at lemonade rest in peace chet lemon just like at lemonade um he chose to do that for his fans i had nothing to do with it so let's just go ahead and quit dragging my name through the mud and uh get this ball rolling so our opening match look at this stacked card before we get started just take a, a real close look at this stacked card right here so you got average joe versus shade we've seen this before and i have absolutely no problem seeing it again you got phoenix which used to be randy razor versus razor ramon match writes itself the match is going to give me an aneurysm is mass saboteur number one versus mass saboteur number one uh and then you have rick flair versus sting classics average joe versus shade it's about Stu's birthday and just putting on the best damn show we could if you missed it pwa also had a show uh they had a show before me and i was on that show and i was in a barbed wire or electrocuted barbed wire king of redneck death match i don't know it's a really long name but i was in it and uh i lost i submitted to a creation of my own so it's not that bad lord beckett is here that's right guys he's a lord like an actual lord Yeah, the, the student has become the teacher. Average Joe sauntering down to the ring. It's been, I can't remember if it's been a minute or not since we've seen Average Joe. I don't think it has. Joe? I think Joe was in... No, because people wanted to see... Did, did they get to see that? Oh. Did... Just letting y'all know. Shade is not tag champ. I've already said this, but I just need to reiterate it. Shade is not a tag team champion. The mass saboteurs are the tag team champions. It's just in a particular mode that I'm in on the game right now. It does not reflect that. Ooh. It's a lot of dead space right there. Honestly, it I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. It, it slipped my mind that whenever it's someone's birthday, I do a birthday episode. There was actually a little lull between the birthdays this go around, and I kind of forgot. Here we go. All right, and oh, shade out the gate. I don't know what he was looking for the grapple there for. Um. Tried to get some type of control over average Joe. Did not work out for him. Got a cool little jawbreaker right there. And a clothesline. Ooh, with the double stomps. 
He learned that from years of Mario. Got that dragon screw with ripping the knee out of socket. Joe with a soccer kick right to the gut and another jawbreaker by Shade. Shade looking for that forearm smash and just bounces right off. Oh, Shade almost no selling. No, oh, went for the DDT and didn't quite get it. And Joe breaking all sorts of harassment laws right here. But it's all right. This is professional wrestling. We uh, we look we look past that apparently. Goes for the pin on Shade. One, no. The throw Shade chants have echoed through the arena. Punch to the gut, punch to the face. Shade now. Has Joe in the corner, dribbling his face. Or their face or her I don't know man off the off the the turnbuckle right there goes for the pin big no-go kick to the back and again the shade firing just all the strikes step floats over this time and catches the DDT had to throw all of his weight into that one Oh, and another DDT, guillotine DDT that time. Everyone in this match right here fighting for a chance to get their hands on Brawler Beckett's NWC world title. That's a hell of an opportunity. Such a gracious individual putting his title on the line. Oh my god. Shade with the show of strength. Oh, he might be going for it here. He's got Joe set up in that precarious position. Might get a little coast-to-coast -coast action right here. And he takes fight. Ooh, coast-to-coast. -coast. Just dropping the boots right into the face of average Joe. As Joe in the center of the ring goes for the pin here. One, two, oh, almost. Shade has complete control of this match. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, went for a splash. Joe now got the hooks in. Oh, and a big pile driver. Once again, sends Shade over into the corner. Has him set up. Joe might be going for that nasty splat. Oh, no, the hip attack. Has Shade back on spaghetti legs. Big right hand. Sends Shade to the outside. You can get counted out. I, uh, I have to repeat, you can be counted out. Shade trying to get away. Nice drop kick to the knee. Get the bigger opponent off of him. Oh! Discus forearm blocked. I don't know what Shade was going for right there. Oh! Caught the forearms pretty square though. Oh, and the Goomba stomp. Shade. Referee is at a count of seven. Got back in the ring. Oh, and a coconut crunch. Oh, followed up with another one. Joe's a little winded here. Shade's brains are scrambled. Oh, and now his arm's broke. Joe laughing at Shade. Oh, my God. A modified camel clutch applied, digging all the fingers into Shade's face. Forearm smash, goes to the arm stomp. Super kick to the gut, oh, and an axe kick. Go. 
goes for the pin here. One, two. Oh, so close. Shade trying to figure out what he has to do to shut this man down right here. Oh, and the open hand slap. Shade sent into the corner. Joe once again lining up that hip attack. Goes for the pin here. Two and three. Joe re just squashes Shade and his dreams of being the NWC champion on this day. Hell of a match right there by Shade. There were at least two times. I don't think Joe should have won that. Two times for sure. That Shade should have come through with that victory. But that was not the case. As much as it pains me to say, congratulations to Average Joe to moving on to the next round. Who will he face? Will it be Razor Ramon or Phoenix slash Randy Razor? Brawler Beckett. I'm sure he's backstage somewhere keeping an eye on the action, trying to see who who his contender will be on this evening or on this day. Randy Razor, another person we haven't seen much of this season. <laughs> the Battle of the Razors. Gillette versus Schick. We got Phoenix, Randy Razor. Not sure why he changed his name, but he did. Man, because I'm not doing it with the Streamlabs set up, like I can't even do the, uh, we can't do predictions. This, this sucks. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure that out next. Uh, yeah, I believe, I don't know if that's his hair attacking his mouth or if it's just really windy in the arena. I will take it from that motion right there that Phoenix is a giant. And we got Razor Ramon. Also known as Scott Hall. But everybody can call him the bad guy. That's right, Roman Reigns. Razor Ramon actually chose his side. He chose to be the bad guy, not just the guy. No, it's not McCheese Whiz, it's Machismo.
I mean, this match is pretty solid right here. Um, but what about... What about uh, the Mass Saboteurs versus the Mass... The Mass Saboteur versus the Mass Saboteur? Elbow to the back of the head by Razor. Razor Ramon has this match completely under control from the looks of it. And I spoke too soon. Randy Razor stomping away at the arms. Ooh! Thrust kick just sends Ramon back into the corner. Now going to work on the legs. Sends Ramon into the ropes. And the big hip toss. Goes for the pin here. Nope, not even a one count. You're not going to get a pin off of the hip toss. Knee drop to the face. Now has Razor all tied up here. Stretching that leg out something fierce. Rolls him through. Kick to the midsection. Razor has Razor up. And a big suplex. Razor firing back. Big clothesline puts Razor into the corner. And alley-oop bomb. Razor now. As Razor. Oh, with the fall away slam. Razor sent into the corner. Big clothesline to the back of the head by Razor. I don't know what he's doing, but he should definitely be capitalizing on what he just accomplished. Or stuff like this happens. A thrust kick that drops you to a knee. Big shot. Good lord, just dribbling the head. Ooh. And dropped it. Straight face first to the mat. What? I thought that was going to be a power slam, but it was a neck breaker. That was confusing. Into the corner. Big back elbow. Razor fighting out. Razor sends Razor into the corner now. Went for the stomp to the midsection. Couldn't quite get it. Razor now sent into the other corner. Razor with the reversal. Razor has him up. Big choke slam to Razor. That will shorten your career. One, two, no, just a two count. Excuse me. Razor now setting up. Has him locked in. Got him up for the Razor's Edge. And boom! Caught him. That move has built an entire career. One, two. Oh, no. Razor kicked out. The winner of this match goes on to face Average Joe in the next round. Big leg sweep by Razor. Razor with the reversal into the clothesline. Razor's calling for it, saying it's over here. Has Razor up. Ooh, and a big powerbomb stacks him up. One, two. Oh, no. Razor rolls through. Razor keeps a hold of the move, turns it into a Boston Crab. Will Razor submit here? Razor grabs the leg. Breaks free. 
Razor is up. Razor is pulling himself up on the ropes. Gets hit by Razor. And drills Razor's head into the turnbuckle. Razor now in full control of this match. Trying to figure out what he's got to do to finally put him away. DDT to the leg seems pretty solid. Vicious move right there by Razor. And the ref is down. Will Razor take advantage of this big swinging neck breaker? Or swinging DDT. Ooh, and again, just powered him down. Razor almost had the win right there. Might be looking for another Razor's Edge. Has it? Oh no! Razor reversed the Razor's Edge. Will he capitalize on this? Sends Razor into the corner. Oh, and Razor with the reversal. Some razor on razor crime here. Back and forth action. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. And razor with the victory. Randy Razor to be specific right there. Just, just in case there's any confusion. Look at that razor's edge right there. Vicious, vicious attack. Has him up and powers him back down right there. One, two, nope. Couldn't quite get it. The back and forth action in this in this match was just in, insane. You didn't know if Razor was gonna win or if Razor was gonna win. We are moving on to the next match. I almost hit rematch right there. So we're going to get Randy Razor or Phoenix versus Average Joe. All right. Now we have the Mass Saboteur versus number one versus the Mass Saboteur number two. I don't even know why these two are going. I, I mean, I know why they're going against each other, but I don't know what what was happening. Like, what happens if one of the Mass Saboteurs, the current... INCW Tag Team Champions become the NWC World Champion. What happened? Like, how does the camp feel about keeping the NWC World Championship in the camp? We shall see, but I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Saboteur number one making his way down here George Prescott will be with neither one of these men tonight also let it be known this is the second time these men have wrestled tonight they wrestled earlier in PWA got the dub as a team 
but now only one of them can get the dub. George Prescott is so distraught that his tag team is fighting one another. He's staying in the back. Just, just throwing that out there. Who will face the Lord of Scotland? Or a Scottish Lord. Yeah, he's not the Lord of all of Scotland. He might be the Lord of all of Scotland uh, before too long, though. I hear he's into some business ventures. took a little bit longer than I anticipated. And here comes the Mass Saboteur number two. The best part is, is once they're in the ring, I'm not going to be able to tell them apart. They're going to do a cool little switcheroo one good time. I want to see how they work in a singles competition because... In singles competition, you, you can't ever tag out, which means you're always running. Like, there's no break times in singles competition. However, they've been a tag team for so long that they know each other in and out. And they're both going to suffer from, like, the lack of, the potential lack of stamina of being able to be a singles competitor. So, realistically, like, we, this match could be really short. And they get into the double count out when both of them just fall to the mat and, and can't go the distance in a single match, in a singles match without having to tag out. Or in a match without having to tag out, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I guess it can be argued that they've been in tornado tag matches. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things where I guess it just kind of goes individual to individual. But with these two being primarily tag team throughout their career. Ooh! Nice vertical right there. I don't like them because they're part of the camp. But I will tell you that they are... Uh... I don't know. Like, the camp has some pretty solid people. I just don't like them. I'm allowed to not like people, right? So they just copied each other. It's going to be a lot of back and forth action right here. Ooh, the double sledge. And going immediately for the choke. It's good to see that uh, they don't change their strategy for one another. Drop to a hole. And gingerly walks across the back. Gingerly. And here we go again. I don't even know which one's doing this anymore. I looked away. Mass Saboteur stalking his prey. Potentially looking for a tag. Oh! Got caught. Oh! And an STO. Beautiful reversal for that clothesline right there. And has the camel clutch applied. Foots under the rope. I like how quickly the ref sees that whenever it's anyone not in, and when it's anyone in the camp. Back elbow, another back elbow, double leg takedown, follow it up with the hammer fist. Ooh, looked like he was going for a clothesline, got a little sloppy with it and ended up just hooking him in the mouth. The mass saboteur might be out on his feet. And a big clothesline. Uh, if you want to know what sadist book this, his name is Stu. It's his birthday, so uh, just give him a good happy birthday. Oh, we got 
2,250 points towards our goal. I don't even know what it's at right now. I forgot what the... No, I, I just remember what the prize was for that goal. Okay. Forty-nine percent of the way there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no! And a high knee. Oh, busted open the mass saboteur, but you can't really tell. He's got a red mask on. Eventually, his nose will turn red. Rolls him over. That could be all she wrote. One. No. Powered out of it. I might add. And goes back to the choke again. Got the right hand, created some space, went and closed the gap immediately, capitalized on his opponent being down. One, no. Ripping and tearing at the face. I don't even know if that's the one that's busted open. Elbow to the gut. And got that abdominal lock. Abdominal lock. Yeah, there we go. Goes for the pin here. One. Two. And three, Mass Saboteur number one with the win. Hell of a match right there. Mass Saboteur number one is your winner. He's got a challenge ahead of him. Because he's either got to face Ric Flair or Sting. I don't know anybody who wants to face it. either one of those men. Ric Flair versus Sting. This is for the old school fans right here. This rivalry effectively made Sting's entire career. This is this is a throwback to all the people who've been living wrestling for all these years. Flair signature robe. How's everybody enjoying the stream so far? Sting. Oh, oh, I gotta do it, It's Sting! There we go. That's my best Tony Schiavone right there.
and here we go. The Sting Chance already. I appreciate that, but no, no. <laughs> oh, Flair going for the low blow. Got the leg and hooked it. Dragon screw. Sting now with a big clothesline. Sting with the elbow to the back. Flair. Ooh, going right after the arm. Sting fires back. I never thought I would call it Sting versus Ric Flair match. This is fun. Ooh, STO by Flair. Has Sting up and a gut wrench suplex. Flair's pulling out some moves I didn't know he had. Come on, it's supposed to be an uh, accurate game. Goes for the pin here. No, not even a one count. The Stinger sent into the corner. Oh, back elbow. Fights back out of it. Flair, woo, woo. Got the chops. Big overhand. And clothesline Sting in the corner. Just grinding that boot into the lower jaw. Giving Sting a run for his money right here. If you're just now tuning in, that is right. You're watching Sting versus Ric Flair on INCW. It's a thing. It's happening right now. Knee drop goes for the pin. Just a one count. The winner of this goes on to face Mass Saboteur number one in the next round. Flair setting up for something here. We all know it. Sweeps the leg. Steps through. Got that figure four applied dead center of the ring. Will Sting be able to roll through or break free in some way, shape, or fashion? No! Flair got Sting with the figure four. If he continues on that path, everyone in this tournament has a problem. Sting with, or I'm sorry, Flair with the figure four. Taking Sting out in record time. Flair is looking to become the NWC World Heavyweight Champion. He was the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Hey, Beckett may need to take a real close look at what's going on right here. Oh my God, that was impressive. That, that's him, that's, that's the nature boy, Ric Flair. Styling and profiling as only he knows how. We got the strut. We got the woos. All right, Average Joe versus Randy Razor. Two Titans, but both of them already fresh out of hard fought matches. Will they be able to go all the way here? Phoenix looking to go all the way with Average Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that w that didn't sound right at all. Not in the slightest. Average Joe making their way to the ring. We've lost viewers. We've lost people watching because of Average Joe and Randy Razor. We gained them. We gained like three with Flair. And then we lost them.
And here comes Phoenix making his way down to the ring. Yeah, Joe versus Flair could happen. <laughs> Joe versus Space Mountain. Oh no. Was that the 69th comment? Joe versus Space Mountain was the 69th comment. What is happening? Oh my god. There should Someone should be reprimanded for that. Randy Razor taking his sweet time. Should turn entrance offs for this one. Cuz I think I think Flair is the fastest out of everybody. <laughs> oh man, all right. And here we go. Joe has Randy up. Oh, with the backbreaker already. Full on Bane versus Batman. Joe now firing on all cylinders. Has Randy in the corner hip attack. And a big body splash. Crossbody, rather. Sends Randy back into the corner. Oh, no. Joe. Ooh, Joe with the hip attack. Goes for the pin already. One, two, no. Randy is not going to go down that easy. Joe now. Oh, with the leg drop. Goes for the pin again. One, two. Two. Oh, Randy kicked out barely. Joe sends Randy off the ropes. And a meeting of the minds. Big sw swings Randy into the corner, but Randy comes right back out. Oh! Nice combination there by Randy. Elbow to the gut and then a smash to the face. Shades of Rafiki. Now Randy walking Joe across the ring with those big right hands. Ooh! Caught him with a coconut crunch, face buster, whatever you want to call it. Has Joe up. Sends Joe into the corner. Got caught. Joe, Joe has Randy up and is tearing away at the ligaments in that knee. Will Randy submit right here? Oh, using the heel of his foot, just busts Joe in the face. Now Joe's in the corner. Joe running through Randy. Oh, with the rake of the back. Randy once again has Joe in the corner. Went for that toe kick. Got nowhere. I wonder what he's going for over there. That he needs Joe. Oh, big crossbody. And then rains down rights and lefts. Randy is fired up. Randy set up in the corner. Oh, went for the punt kick. And Joe moved at the last minute. Went for that crossbody one more time. Joe telegraphed it. Moved out of the way. Kick to the midsection by Joe. Shaking the hips a little bit. Oh, and a DDT. Oh, my God. That was one of the most provocative pins I have seen in my life. I would have definitely kicked out before one at that one. I got to get off me. Joe weakening up the neck for that thigh master. Punch. Punch to the gut, punch to the face. 
Double right hands by Randy. Randy catches a right hand and a left elbow. Oh, kick to the midsection. Sweeps the leg, does Randy. More back and forth action in this match. No match has failed to deliver tonight. Even the very short match between Flair and Steen did not fail to deliver. Randy keeps sending Joe into the corner. What could he be looking for here? Kick to the midsection. We're about to find out. Randy with a big boot. It looks like maybe. What is this? What is Randy doing? What are you doing, Randy? I can't tell for sure, but it looks as though Joe might have been busted open with that boot. Ooh, big arm breaker. Joe now rolling around on the mat. It's got to be one of the most uncomfortable feelings. Two, no. Uh, what you want to do first, uh, Mikey? Is it Splash Mikey? Yeah. What you want to do first is you want to follow us here on Twitch and then go to our corresponding YouTube page, which is also the iNew Project, and hit the subscribe button. And then if you have a PlayStation, create your character and uh, put it in the created area, um, the community creations with the hashtag INCW. The Thigh Master has eliminated Randy Razor. We have, we may end up having a war of submissions. It's like a war of attrition, but it's a war of submission. Um, but yeah, uh, Mikey, just go ahead and uh, put the INCW hashtag and I will check periodically and when I find your person, I will get them in here and then boom goes the dynamite. Oh, I mean, if you don't got PS4, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we would make that work. You can join our Discord, and when you join our Discord, we can discuss. Average Joe celebrating. We got the Mass Saboteur number one who beat his tag team partner in the first round of the tournament to roll through here. Little did he know he was going to be getting a match against Ric Flair. We got one half of the tag team champions. Um, going against the Nature Boy. The Nature Boy Ric Flair in INCW. Flair making his way down to the ring.
So signature one and two, flat liner, uh, flat liner two, the quick one, and RKO two, and finish one, blue thunder bomb, finish two, the last, uh, last shot, the running, okay. Let's see. We'll go ahead and take notes. Oh, we're underway right now. I mean, I can take notes and uh, watch wrestling too. Oh my God. Is Ric Flair actually being, like, completely controlled by uh, the Mass Saboteur number one? Back and forth action here. Flair was being schooled. Now he's, uh, he's going to go ahead and run it back. Oh, and I spoke too soon. see what happened right there oh he fell down that makes sense i don't know why he did that but he fell but i mean maybe he tripped oh now he's going to work on the leg we saw what happened the last time he was doing this Guys, I'm taking notes so I can get this dude in here. So, Mike or uh, Mikey, we uh, we usually do this around six o'clock on Uh, we usually do this at 6 o'clock on Sundays, uh, 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, so wherever you're at, just uh, if you're like in anywhere in line with like Chicago or anything like that, you're in Central Time, you're good to go. Ric Flair is making a huge comeback right here. It's a beautiful vertical that he caught off of there. Oh, here we go. This is the Ric Flair we know and love. And into the corner. But number one was right back up. Into the corner again. Flair is just going to work on that back with that turnbuckle. The ref has done nothing to repair it. And again, good lord. Flair's got blood on his hands and it is not his. Got that choke applied. The ref is... The ref's being fairly lenient tonight. Will we get Flair versus Average Joe or will we get Camp versus Camp? Pulling on the teeth. Got his hands all in that mask. Looking for a submission. Couldn't quite get that one. Referee finally noticed the uh, turnbuckle. Is trying to repair that. I'm surprised that uh, the mass saboteur isn't taking uh, isn't taking care. 
uh, are taking advantage of that right there. Oh, Flair with the, with the reversal stepped out of the way just in time. Oh no, this is what won the Mass Saboteur the first match. Got it locked in. Ooh, that claw right to the gut, right to the abs. Goes for the pin here. One, two. Oh, Flair kicked out. Flair kicked out. How? I don't know how he kicked out, but Flair kicked out. Turning away, just wrenching the neck. Shot to the gut, shot to the face. Flair sends the saboteur back into the corner. What is he gonna be looking for here? The saboteur, or the mass saboteur rather. Flair, what, that was odd. Just shooting out of the corner like that. Big hammer blow to the back. And a knee sends Flair all the way to the outside. Flair might be busted open as well. He is. You can see the red. Flair going for a chop. Got cut off with a toe kick. Oh, and an Oshigoroshi. Further damage to the cranium of the nature boy. Goes for a right hand. Pretty lazy right there, but that knee was not. Referee's at a count of five. Oh, the knee again. Referee at a count of six. They got to get back in the ring. Flair has been beaten within an inch of his life. Stomp to the back. Going for that abdominal, ab, oh man, abdominal vice. There we go. That's, I sound really slow trying to say that. Got it locked in, got Flair down. Goes for the pin here. One, two, and three. We have Camp versus Camp in the finals. Who will Brawler Beckett be facing tonight? The winner of this next match. I'm skipping entrances, by the way. That That is just too long. But the winner of this next match will go on to face their camp mate, their stable mate, Bartholomew Brawler Beckett, Lord Brawler Beckett. Well, I don't know, man. The, the champion of... He's the first king of the ring. Uh, he's the first... Um, he's the winner of the... What is it? The PWA Grand Royale something like that I don't know man there's a lot of titles and I don't really care too much about him to remember him I'm sure he's got a fan somewhere in the audience that'll let us all know all of his accolades The mass saboteur number one celebrating yet another victory. If he becomes the NWC world champion, will he forfeit his uh his tag titles? And here we go. Average Joe already out the gate. Ooh, with the DDT. Got him locked up. And has that camel clutch applied, but the foot was under the rope again. Average Joe. Hip attack. And a big splash. Average Joe is also the NWCW heavyweight champion. So he could come out of here the double champ tonight. He's 
Got him locked up. Big right hands, big left hands. And again in the corner. Ooh! That hip attack. It's vicious. One, two, no! The mass saboteur number one kicks out. And big leg drop by Average Joe. Goes for the pin again here. One, two, three. Average Joe with the quickness is your winner. All right, we will give Average Joe a little bit of time to collect himself. We will run our... Uh, we're going to go ahead and run our little replay right here. Get everything ready. And the NWC... Or not the NWC. The... NWC World Heavyweight Champion will be in here shortly. Uh, just enjoy this little replay run right here. Get ready for what we're about to see. This this is this is gonna be incredible. I'm, I'm just gonna. What? What do you mean? He literally told me to put this on for him. What? Did... So, um, I've just been in are you sure? Like, did you check everywhere? And that was, that was all you found? Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so, apparently, Brawler Beckett, on his way to the INCW Arena... Stopped off at my mother's house in New Orleans and will no longer be able to make his scheduled event. I don't know what to do with this guy. So... He is at He is at my mother's house in New Orleans. Instead of he I don't Why does he do this when I retire? Anyways, before I have an aneurysm on stream, I want to appreciate you I want to tell y'all I appreciate you for watching. Also, more importantly than y'all watching today, a big happy birthday to Stu because Stu is the reason that we're going through what we're going through right now round of applause uh, many more birthdays to come many more birthday specials to come I'm vetoing any brawler Beckett special from now on but uh, yeah happy birthday to you sir uh, I hope it was a good one up until this point where you don't see the Stop talking about my mom in chat, Beckett. If you can text on Twitch, you can get to the arena. Anyways, until Sunday, I'm KB Chronic. And make sure y'all hit that follow button and the notification button so you know when I go live. Y'all have a good one.